Thanks for staying with us. The nation's largest private employer has plans to resume hiring, creating a positive outlook for the unemployed. Also, new investment opportunities are on the horizon for Bahamians. Scott Armstrong has those stories and more in tonight's NB12 Business Matters Report. 400 new jobs and $100 million worth of investment here on Paradise Island. This is Business Matters. Atlantis is to create hundreds of new jobs for Bahamians as it invests around $100 million in its Paradise Island mega property. This week, Hubert Ingram, Prime Minister, revealed that the resort giant Kersner International was set to invest the money refurbishing and expanding existing facilities, including more facilities for children. It's believed that much of the investment will be spent over three years and the majority of the jobs created would be at the Cafe, Fathoms and Water's Edge plus more food and beverage outlets which will be refurbished and established over that time. When complete, the permanent full-time jobs will take the famous resort back over to the 8,000 employees mark. It seems there could be two more chances for Bahamians to invest in public utilities, with shares up for grabs in the Tanik Williams Darling Highway Landfill project and possibly BEC. Il DeVoe revealed that 40% of the $20 million scheme to privatise the new Providence City dump would be put up for public ownership, with employees getting the first chance, followed by the public and then institutional investors. And he poured cold water on plans by the company being brought in to run the site, Cambridge Development Projects, to raise $4 million of the capital needed from Bahamian pension funds, saying that the public must get their chance first to invest. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Hubert Ingram has revealed that the struggling utility BEC could also be privatised, with a decision to be made in August whether to give Canadian power company Emera equity in the company or a management contract, and as part of that, whether there will be shares given to the public. And finally, we couldn't get through business matters without some mention of the budget. While the public sector is being hit with pay freezes and cuts, and tourism is being taxed to the tune of $40 million, there was some good news in there. As part of the budget, the government has announced that small businesses with a turnover of less than $250,000 a year will get a two-year payment holiday from business licence fees. It is part of a package of support by the government for small business, which has been welcomed by the Bahamas Chamber of Commerce President Kalis Roll. He said it was good, but he warned that still more needed to be done. Join me, Scott Armstrong, next week for more Business Matters on MB12.